Howdy folks, it's the Creepy Kentuckian here with you from Dead Pit Radio. Today, we have a delicate subject to discuss. All right. Posted this recently on Instagram. Occasionally, these titles like this pop up. We get these titles into review. And I love that. I love the fact you know, that we can review some of these titles and help promote it for these companies and everything. But sometimes, you have to be very careful to not open these titles up in front of your significant other. Or especially if you have kids. And I don't have kids or anything. I don't have to worry about that. But, you know, little Jimmy sees an envelope in the mail, opens it up and sees something like this. Graphic sexual horror. Little Jimmy is going to go and run and hide and wait until mommy and daddy are asleep and play this thing. And that would not be good. Graphic sexual horror is not for young kitties. But I was excited to check this out. Interesting premise for the documentary. Now, our good friends over at Synapse Films, Don May, Jerry and Company, re-released this thing. This was a DVD edition that they did in like 2010, uh, 2009, 2010, around that time frame. And they are doing a remastered Blu-ray that recently came out this week graphic sexual horror now this is a documentary we're going to talk about the documentary there is dirty bits to it it's naughty right there's stuff in it that's not for little jimmy or you know if you've got a wife i okay some women may be into this sort of thing right none that i know of i don't know any that are into this but i'm sure there are some that like it because this guy made millions of dollars on this site this bondage site people get tied up and stuff or stuff are jammed in and out of places and hot pepper jam in places where it wouldn't really feel good for hot pepper jam to be <sighs> anyway let's talk about the movie and the special features and the release and everything uh, I think I can show the back of it. Yeah. I'm going to have to be very careful with this. <laughs> I've got to go over the footage a few times to make sure, you know, no naughty bits are shown because this is a filthy movie. This is, you know, there's lots of uh, private parts and uh, nipples and butts and toys. Uh, not for kids another type of toy um, types of toys anyway graphic sexual horrible let's talk about it graphic sexual horror released originally in 2009 directed by Barbara Bell and Anna Lorenzen about the creation of insects dot com in 1997 one of the first websites of its kind it's like one of those bondage sadomachitistic Sites. I mispronounced that, I'm sure, but I'm from Eastern Kentucky. But yeah, one of the very first porn sites of its kind. It was a pay site. People paid 60 bucks per month for this site, which featured bondage and just you know, nasty sex stuff. Uh, and was one of the very first sites that, that offered this sort of thing on the internet. And what this documentary is, is interviews with the founder, Petey, a.k.a. Brent, which you never really get his real name in this, still to this day, which is kind of weird, who was a former Carnegie Mellon professor, along with some of the actors and actresses who worked for the site behind the scenes and on camera, featuring a lot of scenes that were on the site as well over the years collections of stuff all the way back from the i think some of the early stuff that pd filmed in the 80s they even included that but yeah a lot of the stuff from 97 on uh, for the five or six years this site was up there is some crazy footage in this some stuff that i really can't describe in this documentary is shown Later on in the documentary, they discuss Homeland Security shutting the site down pretty much out of nowhere. 
Um, but, you know, the early parts of the documentary kind of takes you back to the way the internet was in the mid to late 90s. It was definitely way less regulated than it is today. Um, and this was one of the very first pay porn sites of its kind with the bondage and fetish uh, deal. So the guy made tons of money over the five or six years that this site was up. And it was kind of a legendary deal. Like people were going nuts over some of the crazy shit that was in this. Again, I can't go into detail about it. You will just have to check the documentary out. The documentary is very fascinating, though. I mean, I'm a big fan of documentary films anyway. And this is kind of a subject that's not covered very much. Um, or I haven't seen it covered very much in documentaries uh, especially with the actresses the models whatever you want to call it from the movies themselves um, being interviewed so stories behind that and everything um, it's actually really good graphic sexual horror is very vulgar there is a lot of nudity and sick sadomachitistic is it sadomachitistic sadomasochistic Thetobathochistic, baby. Violence and bondage and everything, if you will. Anyway, um, this is not really horror, per se. I mean, I guess it's, you know, it's real real life horror. People like, people get enjoyment out of, you know, some of this crazy shit. So I guess we can, we can say that is kind of sick in its own way. But I mean, there's nothing, uh, it's all consenting adults in these scenarios it is what it is not my sort of thing but the documentary is actually really good had fun with it um i had seen this before i think when the dvd was released i think we may have talked about this on the original radio show um high recommendation man if you're into stuff like this if you're just in the documentaries this is one you'll want to check out definitely just hide it from people like I'm, I'm kind of scared who is going to look through my collection and see this and be like, what in the fuck, man? But they could have had like, no, there's not a reversible cover. They could have had like a, I don't know, a retitled reversible safe cover you could use, Don May Jr. But um, at any rate, I enjoyed this, guys. I really did. It's kind of a, a basic uh, bitch edition, if you will. Um, but there are some special features in this included is deleted scenes more from the models interview segments interview with the co-director Barbara Bell original promotional trailer and new subtitles balls for the hearing impaired you can now check out graphic sexual horror this one came out just this past week on Blu-ray from our good friends over at Synapse Films. Synapsefilms.com. Check this one out and check us out. We're over at deadpit.com. Thumbs up. Off you butt. Like, subscribe. And if you subscribe, here's something else you can do. Once you subscribe, you can click the bell notification, right? And it'll notify you anytime. That dead pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a fuck. No, I don't. want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't let's, care. let's keep our community growing here on I, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to do nothing. Listen, I need to do that. No, don't you yeah. dare do it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And click that bell. There's all kinds of wonderful shirts over at shop.deadpits.com. Dot com. Simply the best horror shirts on T Public. There are others, but they all suck. You can get some Dead Pit Radio shirts. You can get Last South on the left. The Hills Have Eyes. Texas Chainsaw. Oh, wait, you can't say Texas Chainsaw. All kinds of shirts, folks. You're going to love them. Shop.deadpit.com. Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Deadpit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows, 
all the way back from 2005 on. In addition to the midweek shows, fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tears start at only $1. We ain't-